Hey, Aaron. Hey, Bill. What's up? Oh, I'm just listening to the huge smash album that's tearing up the charts. Oh, really? What's it called? Ape Misbehavin'. Ape Misbehavin'? Yeah, it's got such groovy tunes like I go bananas for bananas. Woo! I don't touch my butt and smell my fingers. How dare you? Stop monkeying around with my wife. That's my favorite. And my personal favorite is Hey, Hey, There Be Ape. I hear that's a great song. It is. It's so popular that we did a music video for it. We did a music video? Yeah, don't you remember? No, not really. Let's have a look. Okay. We'll refresh your memory. How do we do? Holy shit, shit, they're on horseback too. The handy, handy with some machine guns, and they're coming for you. They hate them, the apes. And people say they ain't been around, but they're too busy slaying. The homo sapiens have put them down. They're just trying to be friendly. They always like to sing and play, but they've got tired of cages. Hey, Bill. Today we are reviewing the much anticipated continuation of the legendary ape series, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Yay! Starring Andy Serkis as Caesar, uh, Jason Clark, Gary Oldman, directed by Matt Reeves. And what okay. can I say? Dawn of the Planet of the Apes delivers the goods. Okay. It's absolutely spectacular. The key to the film's success are the remarkable special effects. These apes are not just CGI creations made to dazzle like in Jurassic Park or to a real lesser extent in Transformers. Ugh, yeah. But you know, they're really fully realized living, breathing beings mm. that, can, that you really connect to emotionally. I mean, you feel every emotion that these apes are going through yeah, and it's true. really effective. Kudos to all the technical people involved. I would be shocked if it does not win the Academy Award for Best Special Effects. Oh wow. This is really the, the bar has been raised, folks. Unfortunately, the humans do not come off so well. Outside of an effective Gary Oldman, who is kind of wasted in the final act, the humans really cannot hold a candle to what the apes bring to the table, and that's unfortunate. I would have liked a little bit more of a stronger story. I felt they went for, they got a little simple, a little too simple. I would have liked a little bit more of a complex story, but these are really minor quibbles. Uh, minor. Dawn of the Planet of the Apes is a big, muscular summer entertainment that delivers the goods. Pay for it! I have to say, Bill, I agree Ooh. with you. Dawn did not disappoint. Uh, you mentioned the special effects. They yeah. were all but flawless. And for flawless. me, that is such a hot button for me because I typically don't like all the CGI and special effects stuff. Right. But Reeves gives us amazing shots that felt real, like when Koba takes over the tank and you get that really cool 360 Great degree scene. shot and you're shooting up the compound, you feel like you're there. You feel like you're there. As you do so throughout the movie. Yeah, you've... he gives you a lot of great use of camera. The camera is not restricted because of the special effects. Right. The camera moves, you get to see every angle, and it's it's quite breathtaking. He really, there's no restriction here. You said it You said it before, he, it enhanced yeah. it. And you know, yeah. so that CGI combined with the amazing emotional performances, you know, it allowed me to fully immerse myself in the story and experience it on that deeper level. I mean, isn't that why we go to the movies in the first place? To yeah. have that full emotional experience? So this was an intelligent and heartfelt movie. Yeah. It had real thoughts on society and family and with a story that I thought moved forward really, really well with no lag time. So I'm going to say pay for it. Yeah. And in fact, I would actually pay for it again. But let me challenge you real quick about something you mentioned in your review, which sure. kind of just made me think a little bit. Were the humans, in your mind, maybe intentionally vacant in the beginning of the films? I know you said I... you preferred... Because... You know, you, we got more from them as the, as the movie went on, and we did have some really beautiful and poignant emotional responses we, when the lights I came on. I thought the humans came up lame, but you know what? I felt that in Rise as well, outside of John Litkow, who I thought was really fantastic oh, and, yeah. and gave the film like an emotional weight. Sure. Yeah, I do think there's a part of the film that kind of, the, the humans do take a second, take you know, sit in the back seat to the apes. It's only natural. The apes are so f compelling that, That's of course, true. the humans are going to come up lame, and it doesn't really affect the film. It's not like it really uh, it hurt the way the film felt and the way the film kind of moved. Right, but you but, care a bit more about some of the apes than you do the absolutely, humans. Absolutely, but I think moving forward, when you see how good the special effects are and how 
compelling the apes can be, I think you must raise the level. I think the it's special true. effects are going to get better, and I think, in turn, the human performances and the Absolutely. story, for that matter, need to get stronger as well. So Because, I mean, these people in the CGI suits, they're, they're working three times as hard, they're if not more, you know, and delivering better performances. So, well, people doing... not wearing the suits, you better uh, buck up. How does that song go again, that hit? Here oh. they come, blah, blah. walking down the street. Blah. <laughs> go buy go buy go buy the album. Can I can I how do I get that album? Because I want to send one to Visit www.billandarensfilm.com. Okay. 